Uh, just do a few more here. Um, how many orbitals are in the 2p subshell? All right. Well, p, you're thinking of the p wing. That's when l equals 1, where you have a zero door and then a pair of doors uh, behind it. So there are three orbitals um, in the 2p, 3p, 4p. It doesn't matter what level you're on. If it's a P wing, it has uh, three orbitals. Okay. And um, what is the maximum number of electrons permitted in a 5P subshell? The, uh, again, that same uh, P subshell, so it has those three doors. In each door, in each room, there are two electrons. So there would be a total of six electrons that could be um, in the P wing of any level. Okay. All right. And um, in a given atom, what is the maximum number of electrons that can have the following quantum numbers? Okay. So here we have, we're on the fifth level and L equals two. So how many electrons can, uh, can have the, those two quantum numbers? All right. So, Anytime L is 2, it doesn't really matter what uh, level we're on, okay? Um, so here is L equals 2, um, and you'll notice the number of electrons here is 10 electrons that can fit, okay? Five rooms, two electrons in each room. Um, so whether we're on level 4 or level 3, when L is 2, you still have those five doors, two electrons in each, uh, in each room. So there's 10 electrons um, that can have those two numbers. doesn't matter what the level is there. Again, likewise, N equals 4, L equals 3. I have that one drawn out here. That's this wing, the 4F. There are seven um, orbitals and therefore 14 electrons uh, that can have those two numbers. Um, and the, you know, it's the other two, the m sub l and the m sub s, that are different for those 14 electrons. Okay, so the only thing that is important here is the value for L because that's the more restrictive one. There's many electrons that can have an N equals 3 but only two electrons that can have an L equals 0 because that's the S orbital. Alright, so even at a high level the S wing has only that one door with its two electrons. And then uh, looking at this last one, we have a third quantum number there. Again, that's even more restrictive than those. So we can just look at that and say there are two possible electrons because there's the level, the wing, and the room number. Um, and then there's two electrons that can uh, be in there, m sub s of positive or negative one half. Okay.